Egypt, with its millennia-old civilization, stands as a beacon of history in the Middle East. From the grandeur of the pyramids to the iconic Nile River, it is a land that has witnessed empires rise and fall. But today, Egypt is on the brink of a new chapter, one that seeks to redefine its future while being deeply rooted in its past. At the heart of this transformation is a mega-project, a new administrative capital. This new city, ambitiously touted as the capital Cairo, sits 45 kilometers east of the old Cairo. Envisioned as a state-of-the-art urban utopia, it spans 700 square kilometers, almost the size of Singapore. With skyscrapers, a new presidential palace, government ministries, and foreign embassies, the city aims to alleviate the congestion of Cairo, currently home to over 20 million people. However, as grand as the vision might be, it has been met with a mixture of awe, skepticism, and controversy. The government, led by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, champions the project as a symbol of national pride and modernity. But why a new city? Why now? And what underlies the debate surrounding it? One of the main arguments for the new capital is urban congestion. Cairo, with its sprawling neighborhoods and snaking alleyways, is infamous for its traffic jams. The idea is that moving the administrative heart out of Cairo would decrease population density, thus improving the quality of life for its residents. But there's more to it than just managing congestion. The government believes that this new city will be a hub of innovation and commerce. By attracting international businesses and fostering a technologically advanced environment, Egypt aims to bolster its economy and position itself as a leading destination for foreign investment in the region. The design of the new capital is undeniably futuristic. Plans include green spaces larger than Central Park in New York, a park double the size of London's Hyde Park, and an airport larger than London's Heathrow. Add to that the promise of smart infrastructure, sustainable energy solutions, and an extensive public transportation network, and it's evident why many view it as a symbol of progress. Yet, beneath this gleaming facade lie layers of criticism and contention. One significant concern is the cost. Estimated to be around $58 billion, Many Egyptians question whether such vast expenditure is justifiable, especially given the country's economic struggles and the pressing need for resources in areas like education, health, and infrastructure. Additionally, there are concerns about the displacement of local communities. The vast tract of desert earmarked for the new capital isn't uninhabited. Bedouin communities, who've lived in these regions for generations, find their homes and way of life under threat. While the government promises compensation, many believe it's inadequate or riddled with bureaucracy. The environmental impact is another hot-button issue. Building a city of this magnitude in the desert raises questions about sustainability, particularly regarding water usage. With Egypt already facing water scarcity issues, largely due to the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and declining Nile water levels, how will a city in the desert manage its water resources sustainably? Furthermore, Critics argue that the new capital might exacerbate social divisions. There's a looming fear that it will become an enclave for the elite, out of reach for the average Egyptian. This could potentially widen the socio-economic divide, creating two worlds, one of gleaming skyscrapers and one of struggling neighborhoods. History has shown us that new capital projects, from Brasilia in Brazil to Astana in Kazakhstan, often face challenges in their initial years. Whether it's issues of inhabitability, economic viability, or cultural acceptance, the journey isn't straightforward. Will Egypt's new capital navigate these challenges successfully? Interestingly, this isn't Egypt's first attempt at building a new capital. Previous governments had similar ambitions, although on a smaller scale. However, those projects didn't see the light of day due to political changes or financial constraints. What makes today's endeavor different is the scale of the vision and the determination of the current regime. While it's undeniable that the new capital has the potential to reshape Egypt's economic and cultural landscape, it's essential to approach it with balanced optimism. Projects of this scale come with their set of challenges and risks. If managed judiciously, the new city could indeed be a beacon of modernity and progress in the region. However, it's equally crucial for the government to address the valid concerns of its citizens. Open dialogues, transparency and planning, and ensuring inclusivity could go a long way in turning skeptics into stakeholders. Only time will tell if this grand Egyptian vision will emerge as a testament to progress or become a cautionary tale of overambition. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into Egypt's ambitious new capital project. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Middle East Info for more in-depth analyses on the region.